Punnett square. Let's make a cross. We have a big B crossed with a big B and small b. So a big B, small b crossed with a big B, small b. So in the F1 generation, which is the next generation, what will you get? Here you have a big B, and you're going to cross it with a big B. Then you can expect a child to be big B, big B. For this one over here, it's a big B crossed with a small b. You would get a big B and a small b. Down here, you have a small b crossed with a big b. Then you will also have a big and a small. And last but not least, you have a small with a small. Then you will get too small. So your result, you have big B, big B and small one, and a small one and a small one. The genotype, the genetic, the letters, the alleles are, you would have one big B, big B, you have two of the big B, small B, and you have one of the small B, small B. The ratio for the genotype is one, two to one. Phenotype, however, is a bit different. Phenotype, you have three of them that are purple and only one of them that are white. This big B and a small b and this one are known as heterozygous, meaning different allele. This one and this one have the same letter. They are known as homozygous. Over here, this one, you're dealing with color only, so it can either be purple or white. Whereas over here, you're dealing with either yellow or green and also round versus wrinkle. So it can be a yellow round or a green round or a yellow wrinkle or a green wrinkle. So you're dealing with colors and shape. So over here you're mixing only one type together. It is called a mono one hybrid mix cross. So you're mixing a one cross together. Over here you're mixing two. So you have a dihybrid cross. Di two hybrid mix cross. When I grow up, here's a depiction of a child drawing of her mom. When I grow up, I want to be like mommy. Okay, so for your information, she's drawing her mom who works at Home Depot and her mom is selling a shovel. <laughs> So what do you want to be when you grow up?